Jacob. We're at the shelter. It's got a little bit of a saggy bit. Well, welcome back to another episode of the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. For those of you who follow my channel, you'll recognize this shelter. Me and my oldest son, Thomas, we spent eight days camping and building this shelter by hand. And uh, I wanna finish it off. So that's what we're going to do today. And I've got my youngest son, Jacob, with me. Hi. Well, it's January and it's a lot colder than it was last time I was here at the shelter. Um, I definitely want to do some improvements to make this place a little bit warmer, a little bit more pleasant. And uh, it's gonna take more than one day to do everything I have in mind. So we better get cracking. But, oh, you are stinky. Now in the last video, I told you that the bow saw I was using was getting a little bit beat up. So I went and bought another bow saw. This is uh, made by Agawa and it assembles a lot quicker and easier than the other one. But it goes something like that. And there you go. Let's go find a big dead straight tree that we can use. Hey Jacob, do you want to build the fire? Yeah. So well, let's get some firewood. Yeah, I'm going to chop up a bunch of firewood. Okay. Yeah, fucking fell. I'm not going to burn myself. Got swell nuggets. Fire feels good. For dinner tonight, we're going to be eating Peruvian style rotisserie chicken. I even made up a bottle of Aja Verde uh, sauce. This is cilantro, jalapeno, mayonnaise, mustard, and a few other seasonings. And uh, that's going to go on our chicken and our french fries. Oh yes, we're making french fries too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for daddy to make some dinner? Yeah. I don't want no second dinner. There we go, we got some green sauce on the side. It smells amazing. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. 
I'm gonna polish this off with my favorite drink ever, Hawaiian Sun Lily Koi Strawberry. Oh, that's good. Look what I got. Flan! Yeah, I love flan. Slide you down in here. Okay. <laughs> Jake, are you having fun camping? Yeah. I think I might have to start working on breakfast here in a little bit. Good morning, Jacob. Hey, did you sleep well? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. Oh. You like bacon? It's an unwritten rule of father-son camping that when little boys wake up, their dad should have a fire and breakfast ready for them. You know, keeping little kids warm is a real challenge in the winter. So you can see what I've done is I've taken Tommy and Nathan's sleeping bags and stuffed one inside the other. And did that keep you warm last night? Yeah. There? Well, first on today's agenda is finishing the roof. And to do that, I'm going to need four to six long, thin saplings. Well, it's actually nice and warm out, so I think we should go get some mud and start doing some chinking. That'll do. Yeah. You can see right here, we're at the toe of a little bluff, and all here is a floodplain. So this is where silt and clay is going to get deposited when the river floods. Want me to help you? Well, it's taken me five hours, but I've got the front and back of this wall completely sealed up. I used one and a half buckets worth of mud. It's not too physically demanding and it doesn't take all that much mud. It's just very, very tedious. Well, Jacob has been very patient while I've been chinking this wall. We skipped lunch and so he just ate some leftovers. I think I need to make him a good dinner. Shall we go get some firewood and make dinner? All right, guys, I have a bubogi tinfoil dinner here that we're going to cook up. Now, in case you don't know, bubogi is marinated beef Korean style. And I've got big piles of bubogi on top of carrots, onions, potatoes. It's going to be pretty awesome. Ooh. Look at this. Is that good? <laughs> Well, the sun's about to set here on our second day, and uh, I think we're gonna go home. You know, Jake's only three years old, and he's done really great on this camp out, but I think it's time to go see Mama. You wanna see Mama? Mm -hmm. Well, it is a cold, wet winter day and a perfect reminder that we need to do something about our heating situation in that cabin. I want to be able to build a fire inside without burning the place down. So I am going to make a wood stove from this 55 gallon drum.
All right, we're gonna get this thing roaring. We're gonna test this thing out and we're gonna burn off as much paint as we can. You can see all the smoke and those greenish flames. That's from the paint catching on fire. Once we burn off all the paint, this thing shouldn't smoke as much. There we go. Burned all the paint off. All right, I got some of this Rust-Oleum high heat spray paint meant for barbecues and stuff. Tommy's helping me spray paint all this. I guess it's just me and you again. Yeah. Well, the mud chinking on this wall has been drying for two weeks and it looks really good. And there's a few places where you can see sunlight. We should be able to plug up those big cracks really easy. Yeah, anyway, this chinking is going to work great. Well, in case you're wondering, yes, I am wearing a brace. Turns out I jacked up a bunch of tendons and muscles in my arm. I'm sure this is exactly what my doctor meant when they said rest. All right, let's see. Okay, none of the metals touching any of the wood. So when I build a fire in that fireplace, that stovepipe's gonna get hot and that tarp around it is gonna get hot and melt. So I'm gonna build a little fire in there and try to get the tarp to melt back a bit. I'm gonna put some clay up in there and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Later on, I'm gonna build a better stove jack to make a better seal and a more safer roof. But I just wanna get this for tonight so that we can be warm. We got a pretty decent fire in there and the tarp is melting a little bit, but very slowly, which is what we want. We want a controlled melt. But uh, it's pretty warm in here, isn't it guys? Yeah, yeah, I'm a mad man. It's like 27 degrees outside. Nathan's gone shirtless in here. Let's get our sleeping bags and everything set up, okay? All right, we need to get some dinner going here. You guys want some grilled cheese sandwiches? Yeah. Awesome. Me? Oh, that's looking good. Okay, who wants a grilled cheese sandwich? I do, I do, I do. Daddy. These are perfect. Rosemary and olive oil bread with good sharp cheddar. I'm gonna make a whole bunch more, so you guys eat up as much as you want. Mm, that's a good grilled yeah, cheese sandwich. Man. I might need to take my fleece off. It's getting warm in here. I'm... You guys having a good time? Yeah. Good. You want some dessert? Yeah. Let me reach under here into my cupboard. Whoa! Taking this one. Mm. All right, we're gonna turn off the lights, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. All right, I'll make breakfast. That's about to say another pea bottle. Oh, this is a cinnamon raisin brioche loaf. It's kind of like a cinnamon roll without the frosting. The eggs are kind of frozen. That's ice in the eggs. <laughs> they are so frozen. It's like an egg slushy. Here guys, you want some French toast? Yeah. You guys like that? Is that good? That's a nice. So why is this called? Here's the perfect dunker. Well, Tommy special. Well, it is a cold, beautiful day here, and I was planning on doing more chinking and taking that mud and shoving it into the rest of the cracks, but the mud's frozen, and so I have to thaw it out piece by piece to get that done. And I don't want to do that. So I want to get the roof really secured and uh, I also want to get lots of firewood.
There we go, got a little bit of firewood for our next couple trips. We're ready for some delicious steak? Yummy! Peppermint. The butter, put it in the bag there. Take a thing of rosemary, put it in there. All right, we're gonna take these steaks and we're gonna put them inside the cooler. Pour that hot water right there. Let's leave the cooler right there for a couple hours. It'll add a little water to it as it cools down. So if you're into steaks, you'll recognize what I'm doing as a technique called sous vide. I'm soaking the steaks in hot water and it's cooking the steak. And then after they've spent about two, three hours in this hot water bath, I'll pull them out and caramelize them over a really high heat. Well, I want my backpacking tarp back. So while the steaks are soaking the sous vide bath, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the roof and replace it with one of these contractor tarps. All right, well, we got the new roof on. Let's check out those steaks and get those frying up. There we go. All right, who wants some steak, guys? Yeah. Well, we got a lot done, but my arm is killing me. I gotta go home and ice some joints. Over here, bud. Oh, there she is. Oh. Yeah, looking good in here. Well, we're gonna get the camp set up. I'm gonna get a fire going. And I'm gonna start working on the door. Got a little milk, got a warm fire. Not too bad, huh? All right, Jake, if we're gonna make a door, I need a long straight tree that's about four inches in diameter. Well, we've made some good progress, but time has really gotten away from me. It's already past five o'clock. The sun's gonna set in less than half an hour and my right arm is dead. I have done bad things to it. <laughs> but I'm gonna stoke up the fire, gonna get some food cooking and me and Jacob are just gonna have a good time. You want some hamburgers today? Daddy. All right. So I forgot all the lettuce and tomatoes and onions and everything. But that's okay. It's still delicious, isn't it, Jacob? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, me and Jacob have full bellies and a warm fire. We're gonna snuggle up here, watch some cartoons, and I'll see you guys in the morning. It was nice and toasty in here. Kept the fire going all night long, and it was 
so warm I end up taking my sweater off and all my hand warmers off. There you go. It's really smooth and surprisingly square considering. <laughs> Let's see what it's like inside. A little bit of a breeze is kicked up and the door makes all the difference. Oh man, this is perfect. I am so pleased with this. I need to put a latch on it. I need to put a handle on it. I need to put a little more trim and uh, make it a little bit more airtight, but I am super pleased. But it's a good stopping point. I think it's time to go home. My thumbs have been smashed so many times with that ax, and my right arm is just killing me. I think it's time to play in the mud. What do you think? Yeah, is that a good mud snake, you think? Oh, the fighting lightsaber? Well, I've done all the chinking around the fireplace, and my fingers are cold, and I am very hungry. So we're going to get a fire started, make some lunch, and uh, warm up a little bit. I have done something to my back. Oh, I think I might need to go home and take it easy. I don't want to seize up out here with Jacob. <sighs> it's a good thing I got out of there when I did because my back seized up as soon as I got home and I have been laid out for two days now. But on the upside, my elbow feels a lot better. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> well, for the first time in two days, I'm on my feet. But I think I should go lay down some more. Oh. Yeah. Oh, gentle with the back. Not sure it's a good idea, but I'm on my feet and I'm back here at the cabin and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get some work done. Well, I'm gonna try to take it easy today. So one of the things I'm gonna do is go check a bunch of motion activated game cameras I set up before we went on our trip to Alaska last month. You wanna go check the cameras? Yeah. Why don't we check out some cameras? There's some deer in the water. Oh, whoa. Well, I've spent another five hours chinking today and uh, we got a lot done, but it's time to make some dinner. Are you hungry? Yeah. All right. Holy mackerel, it is warm in there. That chinking is making a huge difference. We've got cupcakes for dessert. You like your cupcake? Mm -hmm. 
It is so warm and cozy in here. I might have to sleep with my sleeping bag unzipped. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. You want some sausage, buddy? Yeah. Should we have cupcakes for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. finished all the chinking inside the cabin and it only took me 18 hours and one back injury so there you go well this looks pretty good i want a latch okay all right there we go okay a bit fidgety but there you go got a door latch nice and tight and uh, not a lot of air coming in through there oh no it's a jacob zombie oh. one little problem we got to deal with is this big dead tree right here i don't want that thing falling on my shelter so we're gonna take it out When you drop a tree, you cut a notch and then you saw the backside and it falls in towards the notch. However, this one's really rotten over here. And while I was sawing, it started pinching my blade, which means it's falling this way. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to notch it on this left side to get it to fall that way. Ooh. That was all sorts of sketchy. I didn't drop it where I was aiming, but I didn't drop it on the cabin, so. That was cold. Oh. Oh. oh, I had some grand aspirations about cutting this all up into firewood today, but technically I'm supposed to be resting my back and arm. I think I better call it for today. I'm just really thrilled with how this log cabin's turned out. And the more I work on it, the more plans and ideas I come up with. I think I might want to make some whitewash and whitewash the outside of it to make it last longer. I want to put some shelves inside and I got to build that latrine. But that's all I think I'm going to do for this video. I got to rest my back and arm for a week or two. Uh, but if you guys want to see the initial building of this, I'll put a link in the description to the first video in this series. And if you guys want to see what I do next, make sure to click subscribe. I put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. I missed you too. Mwah.